you as a conscious mind can only reconnect to the wish that you already have. So in a sense, you're remembering what source always sees and remembers when you are asking yourself, what do I really want? Who are you asking? You're not asking your conscious mind. You're actually asking what's already in your vortex to be a conscious symbol, to present a conscious symbol to you. At some point uh, in some video, you say everything you've added to your vortex, willingly or unwillingly, it will manifest in the right timing. Do we need to? So there's a fear underneath in the in the creature um, that if you throughout the day don't um, remind source of what you put into the vortex, that source sort of forgot what you put in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it sounds ridiculous when I'm saying it um, because how could source ever forget that but um, that, that would sort of imply that if you put something put something in your vortex once and from there just live your life in a high frequency and it was fulfilled it will come about or how do I see this yes so in fact, that's generally the more efficient route. The, but we don't notice so much that that's how it mostly operates because we forget the casual things that we wish for once or that we thought, oh, this would be nice when we just had a casual little desire pop up that we didn't deliberately intend. We didn't turn it into a vision board. We didn't talk to anyone about it. We were just walking across the street and we saw a family playing with a, whatever, a toy or you know, a certain experience that they were having. And you're like, oh, that's so nice, that'd be nice. And then two weeks later, you have a similar experience to that, but you don't reconnect it to the fact that you called that for. So it's the most efficient way to, in a sense, to be casual about it, to not start to insist upon it is the most effective way to receive it, to be a recipient of that reality. Uh, but often you don't remember that that's what you did. You don't see the connection of how you, yeah, how you track to that. No. Um, so yes, it's very effective to just intent and forget. The, in a sense, the more you forget, the more source remembers for you. Even with the, yeah, even with the big things that you would like to have, like fulfilling my destiny, even that one, just seeing it, seeing some pictures, turn to the frequency, let it go. Exactly. Now, the thing is, it's not that source forgets. It's just that we are not consistently a match to the vibration of that reality. So if it seems like things are not coming about, it's not because source forgot it or that we have to reinsert our wish. Yeah. It is. In fact, you can't reinsert your wish. You as a conscious mind can only reconnect to the wish that you already have. So in a sense, you're remembering what source always sees and remembers when you are asking yourself, what do I really want? Who are you asking? You're not asking your conscious mind. You're actually asking what's already in your vortex to be a conscious symbol, to present a conscious symbol to you. Yeah. So you're not in charge in that sense of what you desire. You already desire what you desire. You can't change what you want. So you can feel into what you want, but then you're actually just connecting to your vortex. If you do this with a relaxed energy, with a confident, optimistic, natural flow, then what can happen is that you are simply attuning more to that reality and therefore you're going to perceive it. So the conscious mind's job is to be attuned to the reality, not so much to plant the seed for the reality. The seed's already planted on most things that you desire. And the way they get planted, new things get planted is like the example I just gave. You're just walking across the street and you see a father play with their children maybe and you're like, oh, that'd be such a nice experience. Um, or you see someone with a nice car and you're like, oh, that'd be such a nice thing. Or you see someone fulfilling their destiny and you're like, oh, that'd be such a nice thing. Like yeah. in those moments, sometimes 
more often than not, even those are not new experiences. You're just recognizing something that resembles some, resembles something that's already in your vortex. That's why you feel the emotion of, ah, that would be nice. The desire It's because it just reminds you of home. It reminds you of what you've already created, non-physically. So don't see it so much as, okay, we are willing our way into what we desire, or we are planting the seeds. See it more like what I truly desire is already known and it's already established. And sometimes I'm attuned to that and sometimes I am not. And the more I am of a vibration that can receive and perceive such things, the faster I will see these things. And the more I oppose it in some way, shape or form energetically, the longer it will take for me to see these things. But it's already there. So it doesn't matter what you remember or not. It just remembers, it just matters how, um, yeah, aware, how grateful, how vibrant, how relaxed you are. Exactly, because what I see is that sometimes trying to remember it or giving, <laughs> telling source what it is that I want to make sure source remembers, that that creates more resistance actually than yeah. just being in my relaxed, in my vibrant state or in the God state or, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you're emphasizing the perception of separation between yourself and source. Yeah. Yeah, you're highlighting that in that moment as if there is a separation. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's just that I'm, that I'm veiled, so I can't see all that source sees, but it doesn't mean source doesn't see what I can't see in that moment. Yeah. Totally, totally. And again, just remember, it's already there. Whatever you truly want is already there. You're just discovering what it is you truly want. You're not deciding it so much. No. You, you, in a sense, for most things, you've already decided it. You're just either attuned to it or not. You either remember it or you don't. Or something reminds you of it because it looks similar or it doesn't. Nice. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so don't go insisting on anything. It's already there. You just need to be uh, available for it.